All right, all right, y'all. Today we're going to be going over Infinite Zombies Tower Defense. I just want to go ahead and post a little screenshot of your tower layout and what you should be going for on your uh, level boosts here at the beginning. If you want to, you can pause and look at that so you don't have to watch the rest of the video. But if you want to continue, then I'll teach you a lot more details. So. Uh, one thing you will want to be doing is checking the armament store and buying stuff on the daily. You're gonna be only doing tower defense once a week if you follow my guide. So buy your boosts daily, check the store, that way you don't have to waste gold uh, refreshing. And then uh, use your armaments on Friday after server reset and get the best score you can then you can use the auto feature and you can play this once a week and collect the coins from your best score and you don't have to play this every single day. Uh, one thing I do recommend doing is uh, on your armaments try to get an A-bomb or a climate controller for your top level and then 40% uh, laser and 20% laser and then I prefer the resource plus 3% boost I feel like if you're making it to level like 10 or 11 beyond, then you're gonna get more value out of the plus 3% than the 300, or even using like a bomb or the, like the 10 health boost. Um, so once you get into the level, you will be uh, replaying the first two levels actually. Um, and then you're gonna try to get your quality boost and your plus one boost. Uh, you can replay the first two levels like an infinite amount, so just keep replaying them until you get um, your plus one and your reward quality. Uh, this can kind of be annoying, but you're only doing this once a week, so yeah, you're going to waste maybe 10 minutes uh, retrying. So another thing I recommend is putting a couple high uh, level towers right there at the beginning, that way you don't have to wait a long time uh, to, you know, blow through these first two levels over and over again. Um, then once you get your, you know, reward quality and your plus one, you can kind of slow down and start building out your other towers. Uh, so kind of the strategy for this is to build up your middle towers uh, more than the outside towers. The middle towers have like a longer target time as the creeps go around the tower. So if you, you know, boost your very edge tower, it's not going to get as much time on target. So you want to boost your middle towers. That way they can wrap around and continue blasting the zombies for as long as possible. You do want to put a tower on the outskirts. Um, just, you know, don't level them as fast as the middle ones. Um, you'll kind of see that if you... Uh, boost the towers that are kind of on the crossroads or um, not on the very edges but in those uh, middle blanks then like on level two then they can hit the opposite side so uh, boost those towers to level two. Um, one thing you should be noting is um, your upgrades after each level after you get your reward quality and your plus one boost you're going to be going for um, laser damage that's your primary then try to go for like rocket damage don't choose gunner damage because you're not going to be using gun uh, guns uh, the, even though like maybe your gun damage is more than your laser damage I still don't use guns because they take longer to switch targets and they also don't do piercing damage and also lasers give a uh, bonus to other towers hitting the same target so, I mean, they switch targets faster, I just feel like they do better damage over time, and uh, you get more out of them. So, as you start going, um, there's a couple things to, that I recommend. Uh, boost your main uh, slow towers up at the top to level 3, that way they wrap around and slow targets the entire time. Um, the middle two towers, I also like to put those at two or three. Uh, later, you can even go to four. That way you cover the entire walkway. Uh, the bottom two edge ones, I feel like you only really need to go to level two. Uh, 
and then you can have the entire thing covered. Um, you might go to three in those late, late levels, but kind of not necessary until later on. Just make sure that you're placing your towers so that you get the, um, they're not placing, but upgrading your towers so that the right towers get the, you know, most amount of damage um, on the targets for the longest period of time. The bottom row, uh, you don't really need to upgrade those yet. Um, I also like to leave uh, that um, second to last uh, spot open, just in case you don't get laser boosts. Maybe you get all rocket boosts and then you can put rockets there. Um, if you get all lasers, obviously put the laser there, but sometimes you get unlucky and then you, know, you might want to put your rocket boost there or put a rocket there, that way you can take advantage of the boost. Um, it's kind of like, you know, use your, use the towers to have the highest damage, so, um, but don't go for, you know, the guns, try to use your uh, lasers first, then rockets, then your slow towers, same with the boosts. Um, as far as the rewards after the level goes, uh, like your laser plus 40% is going to be the best. Um, I mean, once you get that, you're using it on all these laser towers and you get to conti continue using it for all the levels. Uh, after that, I really like the A-bomb and then the climate controller. On this run, you can see I got lots of A-bombs. Climate controller is where I would prefer to get more laser plus 40%, but you know, you can't always get what you want. Um, I do recommend using the A-bomb first because it gives you an instantaneous output of resources, which you can pause the game and then upgrade all your towers and then use the climate controller, which pauses all the creeps. And then you can let those towers, upgraded towers, blast all the enemies. Um, another thing people can test is whether you should do the percentage resources or the, uh, you know, just flat resources. Uh, if it's in the earlier levels and you get like a plus 12%, you might want to take that because you'll get better uh, over time. You might get more than like 600 out of it. Um, I don't think you'll get more than 1200 resources out of it, even with 12%, but um, you know, try not to do the percent ones, try to get your damage out. If you have to, you know, maybe I would probably take a 600 resources over a 6%, you know, and I'd probably take, or I'd definitely take 1200 flat resources over 12%, but mostly you're going to be going for damage if you have to take the resources. Um, sometimes the health is useful as well, but again, the goal is to not let creeps get to the end of the level, kill them before then. Um, so it's kind of like if you have a bad level, uh, you might want to get that just to get a little further. But also if you have a bad level, don't be afraid to hit the uh, exit button at the top and restart the level. You can restart an infinite amount of times, maybe figure out a better spot to use your A-bomb or your climate controller, uh, maybe figure out some better towers to boost. You know, don't be afraid to play it a couple times because you're only doing this once a week. If you're doing this every day, it might get a little annoying to restart all these levels and you're spending 30 minutes a day on this, but so if you're using my method, then you're just doing this once a week. So, you know, don't be afraid to take 10 extra minutes and get this perfect. And that way you can get a better output on your TD coins. Um, you know, just getting maybe like 200 extra TD coins a day over a week. That's, uh, you know, 1400 and that's like a lot of materials or, you know, 300 extra extension components. So it does add up. Um, so if you do have the gold, make sure you're buying your um, uh, armaments and getting the best score that you can at the start of the uh, Infinite Zombies week. Uh, also, if you place top, you get some nice uh, bonuses like Commander XP and Fleet Speeds. Um, so just, you know, if, you, if you've got the money to waste, you might as well be wasting it on this and getting some extra stuff. Um, what else can I talk about on this? Um, on those edge towers next to the uh, slow on the bottom left and right, you can put a tower there, but that tower is kind of useless unless you boost it to level three or four so it can hit 
a lot of the walking tract. Um, so I like to boost it basically immediately to that level, that way it can wrap around and hit uh, targets over a longer period of time. Uh, some people don't even like to place that tower, and they like to just use the resources to boost one of the middle towers even further. Um, some people don't place the rockets at the beginning like I do. Um, sometimes I'll wait to place those rockets, uh, and then like if I get a lot of laser boosts, I'll just place lasers there instead. Um, I do feel like it's better to place a tower than to not place any towers, so even if it's just like a level 1 or 2 tower, I feel like it's better than not placing one. Um, you'll get better uh, you know, resource efficiency and get a little bit more damage, because as you level up your towers you're going to spend more resources for less um, gain, it's kind of like the law of diminishing returns. So. Maybe like boosting a level four to five tower takes you know like 500 materials, uh, so maybe it's better to you know boost a couple of the side towers to level two or three instead of spending all that on one tower. But I uh, definitely try to get those middle towers to level four. That way they can wrap all the way around the um, walking path, and you'll see it once I get to later levels all. Uh, five of them will hit one target and you know blaze it down really quickly. It's pretty nice uh, Other than that just make sure that you're leveling up your towers more towards the center of the map uh, Than your towers towards the edge of the map just because they get longer time on target um, And yeah, just don't be afraid to restart the level get a better score and use all those boosts. Also, if you're not a big spender, uh, don't worry, because even the big spenders don't always get the highest score on this. This is one of the kind of fun parts of the game that if you're, you know, patient and a little skilled, you can actually beat some of the big spenders in this. Uh, strategy is a little bit better than power, although if somebody's super powerful, they can probably just blaze through this and get a great score, but it is kind of nice knowing that you didn't spend any money and you're beating them on the weekly tower defense game, so take a little pride in that. Alright everybody, I think that's it for today. Be safe out there, and remember this is a game, so have fun. And as always, the shameless plug at the end of the video. If you guys wouldn't mind liking the video, sharing it, subscribing, leaving a comment, whatever you can do to help me out. Hope you liked it and hope you learned something.